Good afternoon and evening and welcome to the uh, June 4th regularly scheduled meeting of the Nacogdoches City Council. Uh, Chad, would you please lead us in prayer, please? Yes, Mayor. Join me in prayer, please. Heavenly Father, we come to you this day <clears throat> grateful, Lord, for all of your many blessings to us and all, all the great things that you've bestowed on the city of Nacogdoches. I thank you for our mayor and council, our city manager, and all of our city administration and staff, Lord. I also am so grateful for all the many residents that make Nacogdoches such a great place for all of us to live and work. I ask that you be in our midst tonight, that you guide us in the way that, that only you can, Lord, as the psalmist said. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, and I ask that you show us the light tonight that we might glorify and honor you, Lord, in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Let's stand for the pledge, please. have any open forum tonight, right? Okay. It's always an honor and a privilege for me to be able to read the proclamation uh, chapter and join in it with you. Can we have the lady read it again? Here to 
the force and the things of this world and be vital citizens of Nacogdoches. Again, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll move to uh, items to be removed from the consent agenda, if any. Um, I would like to remove item 6A from the consent agenda. Okay. And I'll make a motion that we approve the remaining items on the consent agenda. Second. I have a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. And we'll go back to you, Kathleen, for... 6A. So the reason I removed it is I just, I, I've, I know several of us have had a lot of questions about the repair of Lanana Creek. And if, if you would just give us a little overview of what's involved and all the different complications involved in just repairing it, I'd appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, so as you all know, uh, Lanana Creek Trail um, right near Park Street in Martinsville um, during our May flood of last year, um, the retaining wall that was built in around the 1990s, we don't have exact dates on it, um, was badly damaged. Um, it's an earthen retaining wall with wood structures around it um, and it's now leaning into the creek. Um, so since that time, we have had the um, trail from Park Street to Martinsville closed to the public just for public safety. Um, so now we are starting on step one of the repair process. Um, since this is along a public waterway, there are several permits we have to get before we can even start construction. Um, so that's what the item before you is today, is hiring um, Hydrex Consult Environmental Services um, to do three different permits for us. It's a delineation of waters of the U.S., pre-construction notification to the Corps of Engineers, um, and then submittal to Texas Historic Commission. Um, once those permits are submitted, once we receive approvals, which we are confident we will get, um, then we can have a structural engineer draw up new plans for a new retaining wall that will um, hopefully hold up to some of these rains that will not stop anymore. Um, and then we will go on to construction, which will be bid out competitively. Um, so this is essentially step one. Um, we have to make sure we have those permissions because we can't just go put up retaining walls on public waterways anymore. Um, I'm not confident we could have done that in the 90s, but we did. <laughs> so now we are going back and repairing that flood damage. Do you have any idea how long this whole process? I mean, just a guess or? Yes, so the, the permit process itself should take about six months. Um, each different permit has a different timeline um, and it takes a bit once we do this delineation of the waters of the U.S., we end up with a map that has to be put in the packet for the uh, NWP 45 permit. Um, so all in all, the permits will take around six months. Um, some of these um, different programs actually speed up their timeline for us, um, especially since we are not building something entirely new. We are repairing something that's already there, so there shouldn't be any additional environmental um, impacts. So we think about six months for the permits. Um, if we have um, some good feedback from the companies, um, we will start doing structural engineering before that six months is up, um, and then bidding um, competitively. I don't know the exact timeline on construction, um, just because I don't know exactly how detailed that will have to be, if it'll be a full removal and rebuild, or if the earthen part is still pretty steady and we can go reinforce it. Um, we just don't have the details on that part yet. Okay. One more little question. Is it any possibility of any kind of grant dollars or matching dollars or federal dollars? Or uh, there is a possibility and we are looking into some of those options. Um, for the permits, we don't see that as much. Uh, for construction, there may be. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's something we're still um, looking at right now. And since we haven't got to that, we haven't fully applied for those things. But I believe once we have a positive um, results from our permits and have structural engineer drawings, we'd be more competitive to get some of those grants. Thank you. You have answered every question I have, and I really appreciate your work on it. I know it's a lot more complicated than why don't they just fix it? <laughs> I had no idea retaining wall was this hard. Um, and also one clarification, um, one thing in your packet is a, a, a bit of a mistake on my part. This $21,900 is actually an old dollar amount. Um, the the proposal from Hydrex in your packet is correct, so it's actually $12,600 for this. Um, so we're, we're saving money on the back end. Um, so I wanted to mention that, and that was a mistake on my part. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm just curious why it was closed for a year. Why didn't we start this process a long time ago? Um, a lot of this is because um, this flood damage, um, of course, trying to fix this was something that was unfunded. 
Um, we didn't have money in our budget to fix it at the time. We were going through to see if our insurance would cover it. Um, they would not, since this is not like a playground. They got swept away in a flood. It's essentially part of the earth. Um, and so it's not something that was covered by insurance. So then it was um, trying to figure out how we go about doing this, who can fill out these permits. Um, a lot of it was looking at could staff do these permits, and I am not an environmental scientist, and so it's a little bit outside my purview. Um, and so it was getting Hydrex involved, engineering, finding the funding, and at the same time, there was also tremendous staff turnover with the city. Um, so now that we have staffing in place, we have the proper um, subject matter experts in there, and um, the funding will be covered under that park improvement capital expense. Um, we kind of have all the ducks in a row and can finally start on this project. Well, I appreciate using a local contractor. Absolutely. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Um, there's just some things I don't know what it means, like the have these this three-part environmental study and permit process. Have we done that on every part of the trail, or is this something new? Or um, So I'm not sure if we've done it on every part of the trail, because not all of the trail sections go right up next to the creek. Um, some of them are a little bit further off of the actual waterway, so don't require some of these permits. Um, this section is right basically on top of the creek. Um, and so this delineation of waters we are going through and marking like who has jurisdiction over these parts of the creek. Um, it's all the Army Corps of Engineers that we fall under for this section. So any section that has required it, we I believe we have gone through it, but not for every single section of the trail. Um, this is also the only major improvement right along a waterway that we've done in probably the last 20 years, if I had to estimate, um, because the majority of the trail sections we've added are a little bit further removed from the creek banks. So is it going to change the boundary, like for the sewer lines that we're going to do, where they said they are going to have to take some land on either side? Um, I don't believe it will change the boundaries. Not that we know of as of right now. Um, some of these studies will tell us where the jurisdiction is, where boundary lines are, um, and so it may change a hair. We just, we just don't know that yet. And that's part of why we have that delineation of waters of the U.S. study in there. What do you think the whole thing's going to cost? Because this is, where did it go from 20, 27 or whatever down to 12? How did you do that? So it was uh, that 21900 and that included um, city staff doing um, the structural engineering and then Hydrex helping us do the bidding process, um, put together bid documents, um, and that was just in their original documentation. Um, so I kind of plug that in as a placeholder. Um, of course, we have city staff that helps put together bid packets and, you know, advertise those things competitively. Um, also, since city staff are not structural engineers, we will be going out to get a structural engineer to draw up these plans because we want to make sure the retaining wall is safe. So there will be additional costs with this because this is the permitting section. We will have to hire a structural engineer um, and then hire contractors as well. So and you also have to hire the survey surveyor to follow behind Hydrex? So the surveyor will actually be city staff. So that's our GIS staff okay. that will go in. Um, and every place that has a marking, they'll go in and get the GPS coordinates to make sure the city has a map as well. Do they think that the wall will, it's 12 feet high above the water now, will it have to be higher? Um, we do not know that yet. Um, I don't anticipate there being any elevation change as of right now. Um, part of this is also looking at the entrance to that trailhead because it is um, definitely eroded after all these floods. Um, so I think we will probably be adding some more dirt during the construction there just to make the entrance a little bit better. Um, but I don't anticipate there being a large elevation change. Um, but as far as your question about budget, I wouldn't hazard a guess right now um, since I'm not a, a contractor <laughs> um, and we haven't gotten that far into it. But there will be additional costs on top of this. I have a timeout. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jacqueline, I gave I gave you some paperwork that was the police chief's. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Giving away state <laughs> secrets. Thank you very much. Chief, I got your paperwork. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Well, that ended my question. Oh, okay. <laughs> you should have stopped me earlier. <laughs> Probably gave away every secret we have. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll move to, uh, I don't want to preclude any other questions. Okay, so I'll, I'll move to, uh, um, to approve item 6A. And I'll um, second it. <laughs> I have a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Sorry about that time out there. <laughs> it's worrying me. Okay, we'll move to the regular agenda. Very, very short tonight. Uh, we have elections uh, 
I was swearing in last uh, city council meeting, so now we'll set the uh, appointments for the council. And uh, I'd like to nominate Kathleen Bellinger as uh, mayor pro tem. I'll second it. <laughs> Do motion second, second. It? all in favor? Aye. Aye. Also for uh, uh, Vice Mayor Pro Tem, I'd like to recommend Chad Huckabee. I'll second. A motion second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that's a short meeting tonight. That concludes our meeting. We will go into executive session. Uh, Texas Government Code Section 551.087. Uh, we are adjourning to executive session at 545. Thank you all very much for coming. I appreciate it. Okay, it is 634, and we are returning from executive session uh, uh, pursuant to Texas Government Code Section 551.087. Uh, no action. Uh, this meeting is hereby adjourned. God bless the great city of Nacogdoches, Texas. Right. Oh, this is my new city. Hey.